So good afternoon once again to all the students present here. Hope you all are doing well. I'm uh, Ranjana Joshi, Officer Student Welfare Academic Department at ISAB. And I welcome you all for the fifth session of the Agribusiness Certification Program conducted by ISAB. My humble request to everyone to be, uh, please turn on your camera during the entire session. And as you know, today's uh, topic of the today workshop is how to master interviews using personal stories. So for that, we have uh, pleasure introducing our speaker of the day, Mr. Uh, Chirantan Bhabra. So he's a business professional, leader and founder to present their best narratives on their ideas, concept, products, data heavy presentation and work performance via storytelling. Uh, he has done his PGTM from IMA and he had worked in uh, organization like PNG. He founded the Snapbiz Cloud Tech private limited and led a new business within Udan in the B2C world. Sir is a so storyteller and a storytelling coach as well. So sir will be joining here soon. I'm here Ranjana. Hi. That's great sir. That's great. <coughs> How are you sir? Very good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to all of you. Thank you so much for having me on. Thank you so much. So sir, please take this session ahead. All right. Have... Ranjana, I, I, I guess, uh, Others will be muted, but I guess you will be on an unmute, right? I have, uh, yeah. So what I'll be doing is, sir, I'll be, um, I'll, I'll make you co-host, right? So that I'll give you the access for screen share if you want. And uh, rest, you can go ahead with this. Right. Do I have a sharing? Uh... Yes, sir. Now you have a sharing access. Yes, sir. You are a co-host. Oh, I now. don't have a presentation as such. I'm no more issues, going sir. to talk, but I'm going to be using three slides initially. Right, sir. Okay. And uh, those three slides are with a purpose. Okay, so let's start with that. Uh, I will share my slide. I hope you can see them. Just give me a second. All right. <clears throat> you can see my slide. Yes, sir. We can. Uh, we can. Uh, I mean, your slide is visible. So, participant, just wanted to tell you one more thing that uh, at the end of the, all these sessions, we will be having a quiz session as well. So, please note down all the important points here. All right, sir. We can I, see, I, see your screen. I, I hope I am not responsible for creating that quiz. <laughs> sir, I'll I be asking you three quizzes, I must sir. Clarify to the students that I am not creating that quiz. <laughs> that, all right. That is all your <laughs> college is doing. All right, those sir. are important things to revise things. Okay. So what I want you to do, guys, <clears throat> I want you to focus. We're using your ears. Okay. On something is being said. Okay. And there's an audio clip I'm going to play for you. And um, it is by uh, Rahul Dravid. So uh, the quiz is not about whose voice is this. I'm telling you the voice is Rahul Dravid's voice. So now you have to listen and understand what he's saying okay he's talking about handling disappointments that also i'm telling so let's see okay to view these disappointments is important so i mean you're going to face them um for me it was just about how do you like what can you learn from it and how can you move forward from it and what what is it that you know it's just you can't dwell on it too much you can't like play for a long time and then have anything go your way so it just doesn't work that way some of these disappointments actually help you to enjoy your success a lot more. Yeah. Right? Because you just, you know, you say, I've gone through a tough time and I come out of it. So it gives you that satisfaction. I think I was kind of... Okay. Are you able to follow this? I have two people whose videos are on. I must ask you, Ranjana, are you able to follow this? Prince, are you able to follow this? Give me a thumbs up if you are, thumbs down if you're not. It's okay. You can tell me if you're not able to follow this. Oh, some people are able to follow it. Others have not responded. Let's take another shot at it, okay? This time with a different medium, okay? Let's listen. So, to kind of just look ahead. I think the way is important. So, I mean, you're going to face them. Um, for me, it was just about how do you, like, what can you learn from it and how can you move forward from it? And what, what is it that, you know, it's just, you can't dwell on it too much. You can't, like, play for a long time and then have anything go your way. So it just doesn't work that way. 
some of these disappointments actually help you to enjoy your success a lot more. Yeah. Right? Because you just you know. Are you now able to follow it better? Yes, yes. sir. Manish Manish says yes. Huh? Sanam Preet Singh also says yes. And Akash, the man behind the black screen, also says yes. So the key thing that I want to tell you first is visuals always work better than audio. <laughs> so keep your visuals on. Okay, This is a conversation between us. It is not a presentation I'm going to make. We are going to talk. Okay, Sometimes it will be two ways. Mostly it will be one way. But uh, it will be great for me to see what is the reaction of what I'm saying in your faces. So please keep your videos on. We will not judge your bad hair. We will not judge the fan that you have behind you. We will not judge the book rack, whether it's real or fake. We will not judge the towels hanging behind you. <laughs> we will not judge anything, whether you're in a hostel room or a cafe. If you can open your videos, it will be nice. Uh, because uh, when I do a session online, what happens is if I'm talking to a set of black screens, then it becomes a bit difficult to understand. One is, are people there or have they left? Are they enjoying the samosa vada pav <laughs> or are they really listening to me? By the way, this is the time perfect for a chai and samosa vada pav. So if you're having something, <laughs> wonderful. Good for you. I'll have it after my session. So Very what are we sure. talking about here? What are we talking about here? We had the topic that we had chosen for today was how to ace interviews yeah. using <laughs> storytelling. Okay. <laughs> stop the share. I just request you to just keep mute for yourself. And uh, when we want you to unmute, we'll ask you. Okay. So keep yourself muted. Um, and uh, let's have a good understanding of. So for the people, who are with their videos on let me ask you because at least i can understand or the people who are choosing to not still keep the videos on you can also respond how many of you have appeared for an interview raise your hand if you have appeared for an interview ever ever for anything huh? everyone has appeared for an interview almost everyone i, yes, I guess for getting a seat in this campus also you would have appeared for some interview right i'm assuming Ranjana, is that is that a fair assumption? Uh, so we have asked them to fill the registration form. So that was the formality. I see. Okay. And um, for the people who appeared in interview, how many of you have heard this question, which I'm going to say now? Tell me something about yourselves. Raise your hand. Deepesh says yes. Prince, Ashish, Arsul, Swapna, everyone. Uh, Arsul, Ari, Swapna, Maram. Okay, a lot of people are telling me that they've heard this question. Now, I am um, talking uh, on this topic as an ex-student. I was also once a student like you. I was a student three times over, one in school, one in engineering college, and one in B school. Okay, And after that, I have been a recruiter. So I have recruited from campuses of engineering campuses and IIMs as well. I've also recruited from IIM Ahmedabad and other IIMs. And uh, then I ran my own company. So I recruited a lot of people there. And I'm telling you from a recruiter's standpoint that uh, this is a very important question. Tell me something about yourself. And what we are going to do is we will start from this. How many of you want to really understand that you want to ace your interviews? First, let's get that out of our way. Do you really want to understand how to raise ace your interviews or are you here because Ranjana forced you to come in? <laughs> Sorry, I'm putting you on spot, Ranjana. No, no, but, absolutely fine. Sir. Absolutely. Please go uh, ahead. You, you really want to understand how to ace interviews. So uh, we are not going to talk everything about interview. We can't. We have only one hour. Um, but we are going to talk about some very important aspects of acing interviews. Whether it's a campus interview or a job interview or a, another job interview after you change the jobs because 95% people change their first job within three years if you didn't know. Okay, so if you are fretting about, Are mera job nahi laga, Are uh, placement ho raha hai, mera nahi lag raha hai, unka pehle ho gaya, they got placed two months before I did. In a long span of 35, 30 years of working, it doesn't matter. 
<laughs> okay so relax okay and um, the second thing is uh, uh, you will appear for many interviews in your life and this question will keep coming to you all the time yeah all the time it's going to come back to you so this question is usually the first question that people ask it never happens that somebody an interviewer has started talking to you about a particular project and 15 minutes later he says hey deepesh chaudhary tell me something about yourself are 15 minutes i have been talking <laughs> now what more do you want to know right so uh, that's not the case usually it's the first question tell me something about yourself so here's what we are going to do okay as a mock run okay where ranjana is my interviewer okay and ranjana is going to ask me the question tell me something about yourself and i am going to answer okay and then we'll answer the same question again in another two different ways and then we are going to analyze that answer yeah good we are good yeah wonderful yes sir wonderful thank you so ranjana over to you you are my interviewer you have to ask me the simple question chirantan tell me about yourself and i am considering that you are my hr recruiter from a company who has come to recruit me okay all right sir okay so yeah so sir tell me about yourself now no you cannot say sir you can just say chirantan i said kon bolta interview mein sir tell me about yourself all right so chirantan tell me about yourself uh, uh, uh good evening ma'am uh, my name is chirantan bhabra you know i hail from ajmer in rajasthan and i did my schooling from ajmer all throughout and then i did my engineering in computer science from jodhpur um it was a four year course and then i worked with two years with uh, cmc limited as a software engineer um you know uh, and uh, after that i did my mba and i've had uh, you know important positions i've held in college students activity center and i love outdoor sports okay hand on heart how many of you have done similar kind of answers before i have similar kind of answers it is basically a summary of your cv right i did i am from here my name is this then i went there then i did this and i went there and i did this right raise your hand if you are all hum log sab ek jaise hain don't worry you can raise your hand right ha huh. if if you don't raise your hand i'll ask questions on how was your different answer <laughs> all right so that's true because uh, because we don't think of this question as an opportunity guess what if ranjana had my cv huh, i'll tell you the other side of the table what happens when you take an interview huh? as a recruiter you go into a room you are handed a set of cvs okay so i come to isab and i have 20 cvs to take interview of and i am told 20 minutes per interview so 400 minutes of interview you have to do through the day i come into that room i take the first cv and say okay call prince kumar and when prince kumar is coming in i read through the cv in one two minutes the summary of what happens in the cv at right? most and then prince kumar comes in and i say okay prince kumar tell me something about yourself and what does prince kumar say he does says exactly the same thing that was in the cv and i am thinking in my head are ye to main pad chuka hu i have already read this in your cv right so there you have wasted an opportunity to make an impression and guess what most of the interviewers decide whether to hire you or not within the first how many minutes you can chat type your answer in the chat window how many minutes do you think interviewers take to make a 80 for 20 decision 80% they are decided whether you take you or not 90 seconds 90 seconds your name is dying 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 is that how you pronounce it dying dying taco super nice so uh, she's she's more or less correct in about 90 seconds somebody makes a decision after that the remaining 15 20 minutes is all about whether my first decision was correct or not okay uh, either you can prove the other person wrong 
So you really have to come back. If the first 90 seconds haven't gone your way, now no pressure. Okay. Don't take pressure of the first 90 seconds. That The idea is not to take pressure of the first two minutes or something. But the idea is to tell you that it is a very important time period for you to make a right impression. And how would you make a right impression if you are summarizing everything that is written in your CV and telling the same thing again? Yeah? Fair point. Fair point. Think, think from an interviewer standpoint. No, I just read through your entire CV. Now you're repeating the entire CV. <laughs> I'll say, Are, this is not needed. So what do you do when it comes to uh, answering this question, tell me something about yourself, right? What else can you do? You can narrate a lot of things that you want the interviewer to take back. You can stick to your strengths. This is the point which gives you an opportunity to take the interview in whichever direction you want to take it in. You want to take it towards extracurriculars, take it towards extracurriculars. You want to take it towards your value system, take towards value system. You want to talk about college, talk about college. That's the area. That's one and a half, two minutes. That's the opportunity you have to, to guide the interview in the direction you want it to be. But guess what? Uh, if I talk about a story from a narrative from my college, which I've recently finished or I'm finishing, the interviewer will not completely ignore it and ask you, Achha, mujhe marketing mein bata. the next question will usually come from what you have said, more or less. There's a very high chance that the interviewer will ask you something from what he has just learned, right? So let's try to answer the same question again, right? And this time as a student, Let's say I'm a student of, um, I, I am, I'm an engineering student and I've done two years of job. Okay. And, uh, uh, just a second. Yeah. yeah, I'm an engineering student and somebody has come to pick me up for job. How many engineers in the room? By the way, just a quick check. Engineers in the room, raise your hand or just say flash hi, whatever you, yeah. Very few engineers, very nice, yeah. yeah. You have a good uh, breadth of uh, set of people, Ranjana. A few engineers and more other functions, very nice. So let's say I'm an engineer. And somebody asked me in my job interview after engineering. And what I want to focus on as a student, as a job applicant, is to talk about my value systems, my strengths, and my extracurriculars. Right? Why? Because I think those are my strengths. So the same question, Ranjana, you'll have to ask me again. <laughs> uh, Chirantan, tell me about yourself. Well, thank you for the opportunity, Ranjana. Uh, I was raised in a middle-class family with limited resources, uh, but with very strong value systems. So I've absorbed from my family values like doing the right thing, siding with the truth, respecting everyone, irrespective of their backgrounds or age, and commitment to whatever you are doing. Commitment to whatever you are doing. So when I reached my graduation, I had one fascination or objective. You know, I really wanted to explore apart from my academics, everything that the world or the college had to offer when it comes to so-called extracurriculars. So I was fascinated by it because stage and sport grounds has always attracted me, right? But I could not explore that enough in my school days. Most of the sports would happen in the evenings. And, you know, my home was too far away, so my parents won't agree. So I couldn't go. So when I started my college, obviously there was enough other attractions apart from my objectives. There were friends, there were college canteen discussions, there were hostel room video games. Um, having studied in an only boys school before, it was the first time I was having girls around. So it was superb. Uh, but then what about my objective uh, of extracurriculars and sports while pursuing academics? So I had to refocus. 
I had to realign my energies. I enrolled in almost everything and tried my hands at them. You name a sport, I was into it. You name a on stage, off stage activity, I was into it. Dancing, theater, singing, football, hockey, cricket, kho kho, I played everything. And soon I figured out after doing all of that, I'm liking theater, football and cricket the most. So I doubled down on them big time in the rest of the three years of my engineering. And I later represented my college in football and cricket and also enrolled into Sandeep Sangeet Natak Academy, whose member I'm still till date. I believe I've learned a lot from these exposures and they have shaped a big part of what I am today to make me a better person. Thank you. Is there a difference between the two answers? Yeah. Would anyone yes. like to unmute themselves? But you have to first raise your hand and then I'll tell you to unmute yourself. And tell me what was the difference between the first answer and the second answer? Anyone? There was first answer where I summarized the CV. There was a second answer. Is there a difference? What do you think is the difference? Or you can type. You can type in the chat window also. What's the difference you find in my first answer and second answer? Take a couple of minutes, think about it and write. Okay, we have some responses. Second answer is very easy. Give, introduce. Okay. Write what you felt on the second answer. If you were an interviewer and you got that answer or objectively, you've just learned from it from the first time. Does it help you understand me a little bit more? By the way, it's a true story. So it's authentic. It is. I didn't introduce myself primarily because I wanted to introduce myself to you through my answers. So these are all real things for me. In second, says narrate CV as a story. Okay. Second one is interesting, Bang says. Anything else that comes to your mind when you listen to the second answer? From first introduction was M. Shiv Prasad says, from first introduction was same copy-paste resume from second introduction. You introduced in a way they were attracted by, okay. In the second answer, you briefly explained for some reason, your guys are doing direct message to me, but that's okay. In the second answer, you briefly explained yourself and about your strengths, which is interesting. Right. So that was the intent, right? Tell me something about yourself. There is no, there is no mandate. Constitution may not hai. You have to answer the same way. So tell me something about yourself. Could be anything you want to tell about yourself. Right? And I chose to use this example or this direction because I wanted the interviewer to think in this direction. So I'll repeat the last few lines of the second answer again and think this time as an interviewer. Okay, what's going in your mind when I finish my answer? Ranjana, this again, I'll land it on you. Think what happens to you when you listen to these last few lines, okay? So I'm repeating myself. I later represented my college in football and cricket, which was my objective, and also enrolled in Sangeet Natak Academy, whose member I'm still till date. I believe I have learned a lot from these exposures and they have made me a better person and I've fulfilled my objective of doing extracurriculars. What's going on in your mind, Ryan? What do you think? Sir, you already explained your interest. And uh, of course, the curriculum uh, you did in your uh, college or maybe. Yeah. So if you were to put another question to me after this, there is a very high likelihood that you will talk about my extra correction. You are saying you become a better person. That's what I ended with, right? How, how have you become a better person? Tell me more about it. It's likely that you can get this question. It's likely you can get a question around San Sangeet Natak Academy. It's likely you can get a question around cricket or football. So the recent World Cup of football, which team did you like and rooted for and why? The recent World Cup of cricket, how do you think the Indian team's performance was? 
what do you think about their loss in finals what do you think who is the better captain rohit or virat kohli these are these are very possible next questions you can get if you end the answer like that right so the 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 question tell me about yourself is a large big opportunity for you to create a playground for yourself you can define in that question whether you want to take a piece of land and make a cricket stadium out of it or a hockey stadium out of it or you want to do athletics or you want to open a mall or you want to open a movie theater what do you want to do of that land it's an open land tell me something about yourself right and as an interviewer it is also very fascinating for people to listen to something which is over and above degrees and cv points right you all focus on cv points i'm assuming right you will write hobbies or i did this i came first in this debate and that thing those are great things to write but the interviewer gets that on every second cv it's very difficult to differentiate just based on cv so what will be the differentiator one is the response of other things that you want to tell the interviewer apart from the degree or apart from anything that you can write in your cv right uh, the second one is body language we'll come to that later but this is one so let's let's attempt the same question again okay one more time and this time i want to focus on another thing as a participant as a this time i'm i am telling the interviewer that i'm shaping my own life and i'm aware of the direction i'm taking and i'm very happy doing it right so uh let's go back to our interviewer okay and this time i am a student of b school so i have done engineering i have worked for 2 years and then i have studied for 2 years in a b school okay many of you would be on the right same path right ranjana most most participants are uh, students of so mostly the students are from the third year fourth year but then yes we have added uh, first year and second year as well so they are like from the, from their graduation so imagine guys uh, i am a i i chirantan babra i have been through engineering then i have worked couple of years and then i have done two two years of ima and somebody is asking me tell me about yourself ranjana over to you <laughs> again <laughs> uh chirantan sir tell me uh, tell me about yourself well thank you for the opportunity ranjana um uh, you know i can see my life in two exact phases one where things were happening to me and second when i was choosing my road map ahead you know what happens in the part that i grew up in in ajmer small uh, tier 3 town uh, back in uh, late 90s is that if you get 10th class 80% marks you know uh, you have to take science you know there is no other solution there is no other option and uh, you have to take science and math because my elder sister had taken biology so that was already taken and i was kind of scared of the large books anyways so you have to take engineering what else there is no other option so then after taking science and maths you have to become an engineer what else is the option those were the only option then so i became an engineer i did computer science engineering but i was a horrible engineer imagine this i passed my entire engineering uh, of four years with a uh, computer science engineer i was without a computer uh, that was the level of my preparation for the world so obviously i was not a very good engineer okay um I, the primary reason is i think i wasn't interested because this thing happened to me science math happened to me engineering happened to me and i was just a subject of it so after that what do you do a job what else right you become an engineer take up a job so i got into a company which was picking up anyone and everyone from my campus computer science graduates mechanical civil everyone for the same coding quality assessment kind of job but i realized my communication was far better than others while my engineering wasn't and my qa wasn't but my communication was far better than others my problem solving skills was appreciated most of the time by others by my peers and my comfort zone was people not computers i was much comfortable talking to people and engaging with them versus doing something with computers so i did a lot of research on what should i do ahead because i was feeling stuck in that job 
and i found that a business manager or a leader's role is what uh, suits my preference or persona my skills and my aptitude so i wrote cat this was the first time i was so passionate about writing an exam in my life because it came straight from my heart there's no surprises that i aced it with flying colors it was like a cake walk most of the process except some interview in gds but 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 i loved it you know i loved taking sales and marketing courses after that i did my summer internship in a sales company and here i am interviewing with, with one of the best marketing companies that ever was i believe that i'm the right place i am at the right place at the right time and i'm going to continue to write the script of my life from now on as i have done in the last two years of my life this is another answer for the same question what do you think was different right similar to the previous one there was a difference the difference again is not a summary of cv the difference is a narrative about the thing that i told you earlier before i started answering the message i wanted to give was i am writing the script of my life and i am aware of the direction i am taking that's the thing i wanted the interview to focus on so i gave this narrative is it difficult to write this narrative not at all if you start writing on a piece of paper everything will flow very very easily right it is only when you don't write your answers when you keep everything in the head is that when the problems start because you think there is a lot of sexiness or jazzy thing in you know uh, spontaneity so people appreciate a lot of spontaneity are wah kitna spontaneous aadmi but that's that's not the case when it comes to interviews for them you got to be better prepared and hence even more better prepared on this answer by writing the script down you actually have to write what will you say in what order with what choice of words right you got to write everything so these are two examples that i gave you actually three the first one is a summary of your cv which most cases we do right 9 out of 10 answers are like that in the second and third case it was a narrative in the first case in the second and third case the second case was focusing on my strengths my extracurriculars right the strengths i want the interview to focus on and in the last case it was my journey through these degrees and how i am now controlling what i want to do so i am very confident that i am in the right place right if you reflect back on the third answer the one with sales and marketing you will realize that i have given a lot of small messages in that answer already to the interviewer right what all things i have said i have said one i was aware that the life was happening to me and i wasn't controlling it right that's the first thing i have told the interviewer which is very rare not many people do that it's a rare skill to reflect on your own life and to see it objectively right the interview will love you for that the second message i have given them is because now i am doing everything that i really love i love sales and marketing i love the fact that i want to get into cad i love the fact that i want to do a internship in sales company and now i am sitting in a marketing company's interview i love it and things that usually you love you are usually good at it more often than not right any company would want people to come into a function which they love think about it a sales leader what would a sales leader expect from all the salesmen sales women they at least love their job an accounting leader a finance leader what would they expect they would want people to love their job a person running an agri business what would somebody joining him should at least have a love for agriculture right so if you have given the message to the other person that i really love what i am doing now then half the problem is solved i would say 80% of the problem is solved remaining skills or technical skills or knowledge can be imparted human brain can absorb a lot of things but the love cannot be created i can't put two people in front of each other and say now you you have to love each other for the rest of your life 
नहीं होता है इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल राइट सो 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 देर वी आर यू हैव गिवन अ लॉट ऑफ मैसेजेस थ्रू दिस स्मॉल नरेटिव ऑफ टेल मी अबाउट योर सेल्फ राइट इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इट्स अ वेरी क्रिटिकल क्वेश्चन and it helps you guide the interview in the direction you want it to go and there are many directions you can take you can take a, the, the two directions that i have taken my strengths my value systems um the fact that i am controlling my life i really love what i am doing you can focus on how you came out of a problem and then came to a solution all by yourself you can focus on your leadership skills you can focus on the fact that you love a particular function let's say agriculture right what what made you fall in love with this vertical something would have triggered right so there are many many directions that you can take uh and you must try to you know answer a few of these kind of questions you might want to write these questions um and and you can use that answer in tell me about yourself uh, i have already given you two questions around this one is tell me your strengths right the first answer that i gave you depicted my strengths uh, the second answer that i gave you depicted another uh, strength about controlling my life and loving what i am doing you might also want to think about other questions like think of a situation where you were in a leadership role in college or school and uh, you led a team and led them through to a successful completion of a task you can narrate that story you can also think of a situation where you faced a problem in your personal or professional life and you came out of it thereby you are giving a message to the other person see how i come out of my problems i know how to solve them right think of different different narratives that you can and want to use depending on what your strength is depending on what you want the next 15 20 minutes of an interview to go in which direction you can talk about it right there is no set rule about tell me about yourself you can take it in any direction you want be creative right be creative about it um any questions till now on this you can type it in the chat window if you have before i move to another topic we'll talk about only two topics we have one hour 40 minutes are gone so we'll touch upon another topic now but any questions you have on this topic if there is one thing that i would love you to take from this session today is this tell me about yourself how can you be more creative in your answers right i give you a couple of examples if you have any questions around this particular thing the way you listen to my answers feel free to type it in the chat window directly to me or to everyone else you can also do a direct message to me if you want to i'll wait think about it i'll wait for 30 seconds exactly and then we'll move to the other topic somebody has asked how to create a good resume well this topic the talk today is not about it but just be true <laughs> to to your resume and everything is good uh if you are sitting in front of people uh and if you have a basic uh qualification you will get your resume will please be muted yeah yeah please be muted okay i have another question which says the interviewer doesn't think that the answer was over uh is this a question or is a statement can we get this in written form you mean my answer you write your own answer what will you do with my answer <laughs> you write your own answer what if we are attending an academy or interview can i use narrative from introduction of course yes in any interview in any introduction whether it's an interview or not you can always use this you can always use this narrative like people people always are interested in other people when they find something different right uh like hundreds of times a day you pass by others and ask each other kya haal hai or how are you and what do you get to listen all well 
ऑल फाइन ठीक ठाक चल रहा है राइट दे कुड बी समथिंग एल्स नो इज एवरी डे योर लाइफ ठीक ठाक चल रहा है दे कुड बी सम प्रॉब्लम समटाइम्स टॉक अबाउट देम यू कैन बी क्रिएटिव राइट और यू कैन टेल समवन समथिंग दैट इज रियली एक्साइटिंग आई एम लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू गोइंग क्या कैसे हो क्या चल रहा है ओ आई एम गुड लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू गोइंग टू अ मूवी टू नाइट अच्छा कौन सा मूवी जा रहे हो एंड देन कॉन्वर्जेशन विल स्टार्ट इफ योर क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर आर स्टॉपिंग एट क्या हाल चाल एंड ठीक ठाक देन द कॉन्वर्जेशन विल नॉट हैपन राइट सो सिमिलर इज विद इंटरव्यू यू हैव द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू टेक द इंटरव्यू फॉरवर्ड इन द वे यू वॉन्ट इट टू बाय आंसरिंग अ लिटिल मोर क्रिएटिवली by telling people more than what you have written in your cv uh one question is interviewer interested hoga kya ye sab mein uh my experience tells me hoga yes interview interested hoga kyunki the the other person also needs to know you as a person that is why you have other questions like hote hai na dusre questions tell me about your strengths क्यों पूछता इंटरव्यूअर टेल मी अबाउट योर स्ट्रेंथ्स व्हाट इज दैट टू डू विद एग्री बिजनेस व्हाट इज दैट टू डू विद सेल्स और मार्केटिंग और इंजीनियरिंग व्हाई डू पीपल आस्क दैट क्वेश्चन टेल मी अबाउट योर स्ट्रेंथ्स राइट टेल मी समथिंग अबाउट योर पर्सनल साइड सम पीपल आस्क व्हाई गिव मी अ जॉब देयर इज अ स्किल आई हैव हायर मी फॉर दैट हाउ डेयर यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन माय पर्सनल लाइफ no the the person is interested in your personal life because they hiring a person they are not hiring a degree they are not hiring a percentage achieved in 3 years they hiring a person tomorrow you will have to work under some leader in that organization you will have to work with 10 other people in a team they want to know whether you are a good team person or not they want to know whether you can follow instructions they want to know whether you are a good leader they want to know how good you are in emotional quotient right your team member is coming to you with a problem and you're saying pare yaar mere ko apna kaam kar le it's not the kind of person they want irrespective of how good you are right people want to know what kind of person you are right and these small narratives will tell them what kind of person you are right again you don't have to be frivolous and talk about anything and everything right the answer to tell me something about yourself cannot be मैं परसों अपने फ्रेंड के साथ जुबैदा मूवी देखने गई थी एंड आई डेंट लाइक द मूवी बिकॉज करिश्मा कपूर हैज डन अ बैड जॉब नो नो इट्स अबाउट यू इट्स अबाउट व्हाट हैज शेप्ड यू इन योर लाइफ इट इज नॉट अ जेनेरिक कॉन्वर्जेशन ऑफ वेदर यू लाइक द खट्टा पानी पूरी और मीठा पानी पूरी इट्स अबाउट इट्स अबाउट यू एज अ पर्सन इंटरव्यू इज डेफिनेटली इंटरेस्टेड इन दिस दैट्स वाई दे आर आस्किंग दैट्स देर जॉब right uh then there's another question which says sir if you have if, if i have not certified with any state or national level competition so how to convey them many a times we feel i'm assuming the question is let's say i am not academically great i am not the topper of my university or my college i am not from a great uh, uh, campus to main kaise bataunga ya bataungi then you focus on your strengths don't bring anything which is uh, which you think is your weakness in the discussion just focus on your strength the fact that the interviewer has chosen to talk to you the interviewer knows that you are not from a harvard the interviewer knows that you are not from a particular college they know it now they are stand, sitting in front of you which means they are interested your cv has qualified so don't even think that you were not the topper or you were not from an a particular institute or b institute just focus on your strengths i'll give you an example um ranjana told you already i went to iim ahmedabad so back in 2003 the interviews of ima were happening and uh, it was happening in iift delhi katwaria sarai mein there's an institute called iift delhi institute of foreign trade and i distinctly remember it because i had i went through a horrible interview of ima right i was asked what do you do and i said i am an engineer with cmc limited 
And the next question was, what is the turnover of CMC Limited? I said, I don't know. Okay. What is the profit of CMC Limited? I don't know. Which are the top three companies in IT services in India? I gave them some names, Infosys, Wipro, something. Tell me the profits and turnover of all these three companies. I don't know either of them, none of them. They asked me a set of 13, 14 questions continuously for which I had to answer. I don't know. Right? They were asking me pieces of information, which is like GK. Tell me the capital of Peru. You know, give me the currency of Saudi Arabia. <laughs> right? I did not know. Right? Then finally, the last question they asked me was, why should we take you in high end? And then I aced it. I said, ha, ye mera question. Hai. <laughs> right? And I gave them all the strengths that I feel my strengths are. Right? And later I realized their intent of asking me the turnover of Infosys or CMC was not to test my knowledge. They were testing my patience and my ability to handle pressure. Right? The stakes are high. 13 questions of I don't know as an answer. Is this candidate budging under pressure? Or does he have the ability to bounce back? And I bounced back. I got one question for which I knew the answer. Why should we hire you? <laughs> and I had written that answer and memorized that answer 100 times. And I gave that answer with confidence. And I was selected. Right? So, it is they, they very much want to know you as a person all the time. And doesn't matter which, which college campus you're coming from, etc. Or whether you're topper or not topper. The fact you're on an interview means that they're interested in you. There's another question which says, as I'm fresher, so it's better to give the mix of one and two of your answers. Choose your answer. Uh, choose your answer. Uh, it should come from your heart. If the answer comes from your heart, it will reach to the heart of the other person. If you take somebody else's answer and make it your own, it will not reach somebody other's heart. That is for sure. Right? Storytelling is all about truth well told. Truth well told. Right? So, aap apna satchai dhundo. What do you want to say? And don't make my answer or anybody else's answer to you. Just ask yourself, what are my sins? What do I want to say? In that one, one and a half minute. Right? Uh, somebody has given me a a shot at what they would like to say. I am, hi, I am XYZ. I really love agriculture because my father is a farmer and I've always supported my farmer when I had available at my home. But before doing this course, I was also doing BTEC and some other thing. And that's why there's a gap here. Fair enough. So it's a good shot at it, right? The person's talking about the love of farming because there's a background, father's farmer. And hence, I love this course. And I dropped some other course to get into this because of my interest in this. But all of this has to come from your truth, not somebody else's truth. And that will make the answer authentic and you will not fumble in that answer. Right? Uh, I did not have to prepare these answers for today's session when I just gave you a demo because they were my answers. And that's my life story. And that's real and true. Everything that I told you there was true, right? I had a time in my life when things were happening to me. And after my B school, I wanted to control things in my life. And I'm trying to do that even now, right? It has to be true to what you are. All right. Um, uh, no more questions on that side. So I'll move on to another thing. Um, there are certain kinds of stories which you can use in your interviews. Um, which we call conflict stories or struggle stories. So let me ask you this question first. Can some of you tell me what's common between a pearl, a diamond and German wines? Moti, Hira or German wines? What is common between them? You can type your answers. What's common between a pearl, a diamond, and a German wine? All of them are expensive. <laughs> that is true. 
what else is common between them they are rare they have high demand in market somebody says yes but why why is pearl so liked by people what is so great about pearl what's so great about pearl it's a stone looks like it's not even a stone aging well good guess but aging is not the answer but aging is related to the answer shining and appearance uh wine don't shine as much my friend <laughs> wines are red they don't shine right uh ah somebody says takes time to form interesting answer isn't it they take time to form a pearl grows into an oyster inside an oyster the oyster looks like this inside that oyster there is a constant struggle between the waves of the sea the grains of the sand and the pearl inside there's a struggle that struggle defines the quality of pearl because jitna oyster tightly close hoga utna acha pearl rahega diamond is nothing but copper pressurized right a lot of pressure on uh, carbon uh, uh, on on coal right sorry my bad on coal a coal pressurized right carbon in its extreme dense form of pressure makes diamond and the german wine is the wine which goes on the steepest of the slopes wines always grow on slopes okay the wines that grow on flat surfaces are, aren't considered great but the degree of slope defines the character of the grape and hence the wine becomes better with the slope why is it considered the best because it has grown in spite of such a difficult terrain another question what is common between the life of say sharukh khan yashasvi jaiswal sarfaraz khan and narendra modi what is the common thing between the life of sharukh khan yashasvi jaiswal sarfaraz khan the cricketer and narendra modi struggle says somebody so true so true struggle we all relate to struggle stories we love struggle stories we can't take our eyes off struggle stories sharukh khan probably would have done a thousand good things in life but the one thing that most people remember sharukh khan for is are dekho he was an outsider made such a big name for himself in spite of all the struggles he had to go through right why do people relate to narendra modi so much he always talks about his humble backgrounds what about yashasvi jaiswal humble backgrounds what about sarfaraz khan humble backgrounds and the struggle while doing so great in ranji for so many years he was still not getting a place in indian team ha huh? such a long struggle the longer the struggle the greater the love people have for the person we love struggle stories human beings love struggle stories find your own struggle stories and narrate it in your interviews everyone has their own struggles in life what is your struggle story is it related to the fact that your father was a farmer and it was a humble background and hence it was difficult to read english and go to a college was it a struggle that you were doing some other job you were not liking it and you, then you went to agribusiness was it a struggle that throughout the 2 2 3 4 years of your course whatever you are doing there was a struggle because i could not relate to people i just could not face other people was there a struggle around going and doing your first stage appearance was there a struggle in approaching a captain of a team and saying mujhe bhi khila lo there are many struggles we have in our life was there a struggle of family and doing a course together did not have money to do it but had to do the course also kaise karenge right there are all we have struggles in our lives we all have struggles in our lives so write your own struggle story also and and narrate it in an interview whenever you get an opportunity to right whether you want to narrate it in the first question of tell me about yourself or anywhere else in the interview narrate your struggle stories because people relate to other people's struggle right when i say i was a bad engineer and i did not like coding 
right? I was not good at it. I could not do it. I'm sure there are 20 people in this room who would relate to it. Huh, I also did something in 12th, which wasn't great, but I was thrusted upon by my parents. Jao your course karo. Right? We relate to other people's struggle and make that struggle our own. And hence, we empathize better with the other person and hence, we start loving that person a little more. That's how we make friends for life. We are similar. People say, right? We are similar. Because in the struggle of others, people see their own struggles. Right? So write, write struggle story. Write stories about how you faced a problem and you came out victorious from them. And anything that you can that you write there should be able you should be able to talk it in let's say one and a half, two minutes. That's about it, not more than that. Right? And that you can use in your interviews to ace your interviews. Right. Um, so let me give you an example of a struggle story, a conflict story rather. And um, this is a story about the fact that I can fight problems and come out victorious from them. That's the message I want to give about uh, myself, that I can fight my own problems and I'm a problem solver. So back in 2005, 2004 rather, in December, I was the cultural secretary of IIM Ahmedabad. And uh, we do this cultural festival like all colleges do cultural festival. IIM Ahmedabad also has one called Chaos. And I had to lead it because I was the cultural secretary. Now, we had a total budget of about 12 lakhs for the event in 2005. And half of that money was coming from one brand, one tea brand in India. Now, I won't name it, but it was a sponsor for the past two, three years in the same campus. So we were very certain that we are, we are doing fine. Now, the event was on 24 to 26th of January. And on 15th of December, I got a mail saying we won't do it from the lead sponsor. The lead sponsor T brand said, we won't be sponsoring this event for you this year because we have budget constraints. Now, I was obviously, I kind of saw my own world kind of <laughs> breaking, shattering in front of me, right in front of me, right? My commitments were done. Artists were booked uh, who had national repute, Hari Prasad Chaurasia, Euphoria, the band. Some rock band, 900 colleges invited, schedules printed, stalls booked, you know, based subsidized based on sponsorship commitments, passes printed, and they were under distribution. And I received this email. My world shattered, right? So what did I do? I got my core team of three people on sponsorship together, and we ideated. We said every and any idea is welcome. What are the other sources of money? How do we bridge this gap? 12 lakh total budget, 6 lakhs wiped out. And all commitments are in place. We cannot go back on them. Phenomenal ideas came out. Out of these three, four people. We could not take it to a larger group because it would have damaged their psyche and would have created panic. Ideas like, let's see all the key national college festivals happening around. Take their key sponsors, which we have not reached out. Let's get them. Revise all the passes to maybe tickets right away. Don't distribute passes anymore. Free passes. Only ticket sales of a certain amount. Sell tickets from more counters in Ahmedabad than just one campus door, right? We did a deal with uh, Cafe Coffee Day around that. All these ideas culminated into we creating Raymond as a lead sponsor that year, which gave us 4 lakhs. So out of 6 lakhs, 4 lakhs was covered. But we raised an additional 9 lakhs. Additional 9. So versus 6, we raised 13 lakhs from other sources, other ideas. We gave positive budget back to the campus for the first time. So sometimes the biggest barriers to innovation is our own ability to question the way things are going as they are going. And other times, necessity and urgency leads to innovations. And I was a part of this innovation. I'm very happy to tell you about this. So this is another narrative about a conflict story, a struggle story. It's an example of how you can narrate a conflict story. Find examples in your own life, in your personal life, professional life, and focus on those struggle stories, tell people those stories, write about them and practice it and then talk it out. Talk to your friends out first, narrate to them in one and a half, two minutes and then use it in an interview. Right? So I hope these are good examples for you to consider and 
I hope I was able to help you ideate on what kind of things you can use in your interviews to ace your interviews. Okay. That's pretty much about it from my side. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm happy to take them. We just have three, four minutes left. But if you have questions, you can point them in the chat window for me. I'll wait for 15, 20 seconds before I move on. Think about it. If you have any questions, put them in your chat window for me. No, sir, can we uh, elaborate and explain uh, during interview process about uh, uh, about uh, our past ex matab, uh, पास्ट एक्सपीरियंसेस के बारे में उनको बता सकते हैं कि इंटरव्यू के प्रोसेस के दौरान में बिल्कुल बता सकते हैं उस उसके उसके जवाब के अपॉर्चुनिटीज होंगे ऋषिकेश क्योंकि नॉट एवरी आंसर कैन बी लाइक दिस अगर वो पूछे ठीक है मुझे बताओ एग्री बिजनेस के बेस्ट फाइव प्रैक्टिसेस तो उसमें आप अपना स्ट्रगल नहीं बता सकते लेकिन yes, जब जब आपको अपॉर्चुनिटी मिलेगा कहीं ना कहीं मिलेगा इंटरव्यू में इधर दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी वन वेरी ब्लैंक अपॉर्चुनिटी इज अ ब्लैंक पेज गिवन टू यू Which says, tell me something about yourself. उसमें आपको जो लिखना है लिखो जो बोलना है बोलो राइट प्रोवाइड इट इज अराउंड योर स्ट्रेंथ राइट राइट आई होप दैट आंसर कैन वी ग्लोरीफाई आर रिसेंट अचीवमेंट समबडी आस्क डोंट ग्लोरीफाई इट जस्ट स्टेट इट इंटरव्यूअर्स डू नॉट लाइक सेल्फ बोस्टर्स देखो मैं आ गया राइट बचना है हसीनो लो मैं आ गया दे डोंट लाइक दैट राइट जस्ट स्टेट इट एज अ फैक्ट एज एन ऑब्जेक्टिव फैक्ट बिकॉज ग्लोरिफिकेशन सी द थिंग इज लेट्स से आई कम टू यू एंड से यू नो आई एम अ ग्रेट सिंगर देन आई कम बैक टू यू इन टर्म समाइम से आई एम अ ग्रेट सिंगर एंड आई कम बैक एंड से आई एम अ ग्रेट सिंगर आप पे उतना असर नहीं होगा बट इफ टेन अदर पीपल कम एंड टेल यू चिरंत्र इज अ ग्रेट सिंगर यू विल से हाँ इसको बुलाना चाहिए राइट सो you have your own limits in terms of what you can say about yourself in terms of how much you can glorify right state your achievements be proud of them no doubts about it but be objective and humble about them also that's that's the point okay any other questions going going and it's gone fair enough uh, ranjana over to you i am done from my side Thank you so much, sir, for this interactive session. I mean, definitely, this will definitely gonna help our students, our participants, in their nearest future interviews. And I hope all the participants must have, uh, I mean, learned very new things and uh, you know, challenging thing, of course. Right? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. Great. Great. So thank you so much, sir. And uh, students, I'll be sharing a feedback form, right? Definitely, it will be uh, again giving us a you know motivation uh, for the uh, sessions to be uh, you know. Uh, yes. I'm question, ma'am. ISAV when live form, interest form. We will we will talk on this separately, right? We will definitely inform you about the admission and everything. but definitely these sessions are for made for only for the participants for your uh, you know because definitely we also have you know exams and everything there so don't worry about that just focus on those sessions it is actually important for everyone not uh, for just only that you wanted to take admission here or wherever you want it is actually going to really going to help you in your nearest future right so thank you so much sir thank you so right, much for your very you valuable your time best wishes to everyone all the best thank you sir thank you so much sir i have shared the feedback form now right it's a google form so please fill this google form it's a feedback form and uh, wait for the tomorrow sessions we will be having tomorrow sessions with dr dinesh jain sir and uh, it will be again at 4 4 pm okay. thank you everyone thank you everyone take care thank you ma'am कथा हो रहा है क्या इसमें